What do you need to include in your pitch deck? Today we're getting the expert advice of Landon Ainge, Managing Director from Assure Syndicates, continuing our seven part series about venture capital and funding your startup. If you are a tech startup founder looking to build apps, grow your SaaS business, and make money doing cool software entrepreneur related stuff, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell. So Landon, I'm sure that you're seeing a lot of pitch decks. What are your observations about things founders do well or poorly? Like what are, what are you seeing? So what most founders get wrong in the pitch deck is first, it looks really bad. Uh, maybe it's just because technical founders don't seem to prioritize the pitch deck or because they think it's a waste of time. It's like a book report. Uh, but in reality, you know, this is your advertising for your investors. And so for, in order for you to get kind of that initial interest, it needs to be presentable, show like you are the future technology company that's going to grow. Um, the second is you, you need to go through kind of the key main points of what is the problem? Why, why is no one else solving the problem? Or why are they looking at the world wrong? Show me how you're different. And then show me what you've done to demonstrate that this is going to be successful, like we talked about um, previously. Um, I would also say one thing in this current COVID time, it's really important to understand uh, the pitch. Why now? Why is right now the right time to start it? Or why is it not five years from now? Um, you know, I've had previous experiences with certain industries where they were introduced too early. They were great businesses, but the user adoption just wasn't there. So they weren't going to have customers and therefore the business failed over and over again. Um, but the same is true as well. Why, you know, too late is just as bad. Following major players, if I wanted to create a ride sharing app called uh, Landon's Ride Sharing App and it had nothing, no differentiation from some major ones we know in the, in the ecosystem like Uber and Lyft, I'm probably not going to get any money. Even if I start to get some local customers in my current region and I'm getting drivers and they're doing well, that's probably not going to garner much investment interest. So why now? Why are you different? How are you approaching it different? And then um, providing validation of that from your customers, either from how they think about you or what they're willing to pay. Maybe it's your model, your pricing model. So I just went through a lot of things really, really fast. But if I really break it down simply, I'd just go back to say, make it look good. Make sure you answer why this is a problem and how you're going about it differently. And then finally, why is right now the time? Um, and whether you address it in the pitch deck or not, they're evaluating you as the founder. You, at an early stage, it's just as much about you as it is anything you've accomplished in the business. So remember that. Be, be the person that is the future leader that is required to build a technology giant. Make sure you watch all the videos in the series to get the full interview. Turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one. Coming up next, how do you convince investors to invest? Getting sales is the best validation you can get. Let's go spend some marketing dollars and let's see if we can convince people to buy. Join us again. Videos are published every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 noon Mountain Time.